Hello, this is Brian Hagney, instructor of game design at High Point University. I was running out of time, and if I had let that video go too long, it would uh, like a few seconds longer, it would not have been high res. Um, so I did need to stop it. I know exactly what was wrong. This is kind of fun thing, a fun thing with um, with understanding children and hierarchy. I wish it didn't do this, but it does. Um, I wish there was, well, okay, it has to do it. So I had made this, we, I had made this platform. When it was made out of a box, I squished it. And then when I wanted to make it out of this cool, beautiful pedestal base, I raised it to back to 2.5 scale in the Z axis, right? And so now it's not a box. So you can see if I made this a box, really a cube, right? It'd be really tall. And I wanted it to be like a squished up base, a platform to stand on. And so that's why, oh, where's my statue? What is it, base? statue base. SM statue base? Yeah. So when I wanted it not to be a cube or a flat surface, I, I increased its Z value again. Now when I did that, I made this collision platform extremely scaled, ugh, tall. And also the particle system was extremely scaled, extremely scaled taller because I made the platform t uh, taller in scale and because the collision platform and the particle system are children of the platform, they were increased in height by a magnitude of five. Actually, by a lot. It should have been by a lot. So I'm going to set this back to 0.4 and lower this. Yes. And the particle system should be going down to 0.4 and lower that. And that should help things look better. Now I actually want to see where that... See the other thing is actually this platform. I do... whoops, not that one. I want the platform itself to be moved upwards. Uh, I'm going to go to the left just to make sure it's actually at zero. I don't want my stuff to sit on zero. Z equals zero. So right now it does. And actually, if I move everything else, if I move that, everything else comes with it. Right? So that's good. There we go. Keep it there. Compile it. Save it. See how it looks in the engine. There we go. Just going to move this statue over here. And now look what happens. I'm going to point this out. The lighting needs to be rebuilt. If you turn in an op a project with that, that is not good. Some people fail students. No, if this, this is like an automatic fail. Um, lighting needs to rebuilt, be rebuilt. So I'm just going to build that if I'm done, right? And I do want to see it finished. So I'm going to build that. And while it's building, I'm going to pause. All right. And now that that's complete, um, I can click play. I'm looking at this weird painting. And there's that thing. Jump up here. Oh, and you know what? I'm not able to jump up that high. So that's kind of funny. What happens if I get below it? Oh, good. Okay, let me figure out. I can lower this, can't I? There we go. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now that you all know how to do that, you know how to go to the Epic Games content marketplace, find free stuff. You don't have to worry about paying for anything. You will be getting AAA quality content. Um, the cool thing is, once you do that, like we can go to meshes, we can look at 
the meshes, we can look at the materials and see how they made some of these materials, like this destroyed painting frames. Let's take a look at it. We've got a normal map. We've got a texture sample. This is just like something you can Photoshop together. And look at we've got a LERP, a linear interpolation from zero to B using that alpha for roughness. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And we can look through, yeah, I don't think, I, yeah, let's save everything. Well, let's take a look at this. So this is tree fall merged. Okay. Well, that's pretty. We will get into materials um, after we go over some other things. So get ready for materials later. Um, all right. I can't wait to see your levels filled with cool stuff and interesting ways of doors communicating with each other. Bye.